Welcome to Atari Newsline. This episode, guys, I got some really cool Atari deliveries over the past few days. I'm going to unbox them here and talk about them. I cannot freaking wait. Stuff from uh, Hyper Megatech, also known as uh, Blaze Entertainment. We have stuff straight from Atari um, and some other rare stuff I got on eBay too. So come on back. I cannot wait to unbox this stuff. We'll see you in a minute. <music> Welcome back, you guys. Ballistic Coffee Boy here, your host. So I recorded a couple of clips from these items I unboxed over the past couple of days, including right now, um, and I cannot wait to show you. So here are those clips, and at the end, we'll talk about what you think. We'll see you in a minute. Hey, guys. BCB here. So I got some cool stuff to unbox again. Uh, right now, it is October 22nd, 2024. Now, I have put some of this stuff off for a couple of weeks, so this has come throughout the month of October. So uh, let's get started. I got a ton of things to unbox here, so uh, pretty awesome. I, I love having lots of stuff to unbox. Uh, so this stuff, like I said, has been waiting the past few weeks. This is by uh, K's and Kazen's Clearance, so with spelled with K's, uh, in Philadelphia, Tennessee. I didn't know there was a Philadelphia, Tennessee. Uh, let's open this. Um, of course, I have nothing around me to help me open this stuff. Of course, my ham radio is still on. Hasn't been going off a lot today, so it should be okay. So, definitely going to need something to open these. This is kind of rough to open. Uh, let's see here. What can I grab? Okay. Got my Swiss Army knife here. I never use this thing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's just find the knife. There we go. And got to keep this away from Ape and Bubba because, you know, he'll hurt himself or someone else or me. Let's see here. So I am expecting some things. I have a package back here from Atari as well. So definitely excited to unbox that. And something from Atari Club that I won. So this is something I purchased, though, on eBay, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and get this open. And many of you know I've been uh, collecting the boxes for my 7800 games. Um, I've got uh, a little bit of ways to go. Um, I have a lot of them on cart, but not the boxes. And I got this and had to get it. It's Fight Night for 7800. Now, uh, this is not one of my favorite games. It's kind of a really, in my opinion, it's kind of a lame copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Not as fun, uh, very repetitive. Uh, kind of crazy looking graphics. Um, uh, it says it's time to prove the stuff you're made of. And this came out in 88. And I just can't believe it. So Atari games are starting to get pretty bad around this time, in my opinion. I do love the cover, however, and I wanted this in my collection. So Fight Night. Let's take a look at it right here. Crazy game, right? Fight night. All right, let's keep going. And I got that for like under 20 bucks. It's, so I actually won something on Twitter again, if you can believe it. And this was from Atari Club, Atari X. They had a little contest about posting some of your favorite uh, 
video game gifts, and I posted one for Pac-Man. I think it was Atari gifts. Um, I posted Pac-Man 2600, talked about that, and I won, and two other people won, I think. So excited to get this, guys. It is Yars Rising for the Switch. I cannot believe I won this. Thank you so much, Atari Club. I'm going to review this on Filter HD pretty soon. Sorry it's delayed. I've just been so busy. I've got two jobs, a lot of stuff going on, So and the channel and life. So can't wait to play Yars Revenge. Hack your destiny. Of course, this is by WayForward and Atari. Cannot wait to play it. So cool that I won that. Make sure to enter these uh, contests, you guys. Oh, I got something else in here. Oh, wow. I got these little Atari stickers or decals. Thank you so much, Atari Club. That's awesome. I love it. So excited to win Yars Rising. I hadn't purchased it yet. I was, I was going to. I was kind of waiting for a sale because it's one of those little more pricey games, but not bad. Totally worth it, though. So the next thing I got is from Logan in Sycamore, Illinois. And I purchased this, I'm pretty sure, on eBay one day. A lot of the stuff I get, I either, if it's Atari, I keep it. If it's general gaming, I typically have started to resell it to support the channel. So a lot of you know that for my unbox special, which this is probably going to be in. Uh, so let's see. I can't remember what this is. And it's full of styrofoam. It's going to get everywhere. Let's see. What do they put in here? The freaking, uh, is it like? Some kind of freaking ancient urn or something? Or what is all this styrofoam for? Crazy. Oh, cool. Now I know why. Because this game can be a little pricey. So, as you know, I've been on my quest to purchase games for the Arcadia Supercharger of the 2600. I got another one. And it was a really good deal. And I know when I get that party mix and that frogger, it's going to kill me. but Because I'm a completionist. Or try to be. So let's open this up. Got lots of tape on it, just as I would hope, because it wasn't too expensive, but this can be a pricey game. It's Communist Mutants from Space for the Arcadia Supercharger on the 2600. Uh, this is awesome because the Arcadia Supercharger allowed you to play games and add more graphics through cassette, and the game's were on cassette. You would hook it up through a cassette player in the 2600. I know, weird. There were about eight games or so, somewhere around there, nine maybe, for this. This is one of them. Uh, vaporize the communist mutants before they overrun your home planet. I love it. So from 82, let's go ahead and check out some footage from communist mutants from space. I love that title. Awesome, guys. Let me know what you think. I love it. Uh-oh. I just knocked the styrofoam on the floor. That would not have been good. So the last thing I got to open is from Atari, and I can tell this is light, so I kind of know what it is. It's stuff I ordered, and uh, one of them is a Halloween item, and one is from the summer camp, I think, left over from that. So cool. Excited to get this. I do have about eight more days left for Halloween, so perfect time to wear this, I know. So I got a Haunted House hat. Uh, this is the, um, now I actually have a Haunted House, um, what do you call those things you put on your head? A kushi? I don't even know what those things are called, but I got one of those like this. But I wanted to get this because um, this is kind of cooler to wear all year round. So I freaking love it. Got the Haunted House eyes on here. I need to adjust this here. And I got something else in here I'm going to show you. So let's see. Let's get this on right. So it does have an adjustable little clasp. That's nice. A lot of mine that they've sent me do not have that. They're like the plastic thing, I think. I think. So let's get this a little more wide on me. Got a big old head. There you go. I freaking love it, guys. Let me know what you think about my haunted house hat. There is a little sticker here. Uh, what does that say? The authentic... Yupong adjustable. Yupong since 1974. That's just a sticker you can take off. It says the classics Yupong inside. Made with cotton. Made in Bangladesh. 
pretty awesome. So love my hat. I'll take that sticker off later, but I freaking love it. So I usually wear my hats like this. So we have the Atari logo there and the eyes on the back. That's cool. So one more thing to show you guys right now. I got this from Atari Club as well. I purchased it. And I'm so stoked about this. I kept joking about this, but I really wanted to get one. And I, I think they may have put it on the store because me and Brian Childers said um, on that Atari show we wanted to see this return because there was one for a limited time for the club members only for Atari Club. I got the Atari Fanny Pack. I love this thing. Look at this. Now, this is actually, I thought this was going to be a cheap material. This was like 20 something dollars, I think. But the material is actually pretty solid. It's that thick, kind of meshy material. It's not kind of that plasticky material I was hoping it wasn't. So, this is pretty cool. So, we basically have a compartment here. And it's got an, enough room in here for an Atari Lynx or, <laughs> I don't know, uh, beverages or whatever you can take with you to the park or whatever. But pretty cool. I love this. Thank you so much, Atari Club, for bringing this out. So as I said, I got this cool package uh, from Atari, and a lot of you might know what this is, uh, but um, it was put out uh, let's see, by um, Hyper Megatech, which a lot of us know as Blaze Evercade. This is their other division for their handhelds, and so excited about this, guys. So I would typically do this on Unbox, but I wanted to do this now. So I'll probably put this on Unbox, too, on the next episode. Uh, so, I got some cool stuff here. I got the Atari Limited Edition Super Pocket. And this thing is in faux wood grain. Uh, pretty cool. Awesome, guys. So, on this cart, we have a lot of stuff on the back here. It says, RK Games include Asteroids Berserk, Canyon Bomber, Crystal Castles, Frenzy, Liberator, Lost Tomb, Millipede, Missile Command, Night Driver, Pong, Skydiver, and Super Breakout. The 2600 games include Aqua Venture, Adventure, Dark Cavern, Gravatar, Haunted House, Radar Lock, Save Mary, Solaris, Street Racer, Submarine Commander, Tempest, Video Pinball, Wizard, and Yars Revenge. The 5200 games include Bounty Bob Strikes Back, Countermeasure, Final Legacy, Minor 2049er, and Zari Arena. The 7800 games include Alien Brigade, Asteroid, Centipede, Dark Chambers, Desert Falcon, Fatal Run, Food Fight, Ninja Golf, and Motor Psycho. And lastly, the Lynx games include Basket Brawl, Checkered Flag, Dirty Larry, Renegade Cop, Kung Food, my favorite, Robo Squash, Scrapyard Dog, Super Asteroids and Missile Command, Turbo Sub, and Warbirds. And this uh, special edition was limited to 2,600 units, it says on the back. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this open here. I do have some scissors here. Now this also came with something else. I'm gonna be unboxing that too. Uh, let's go ahead and get this open though. The little tag on the bottom open. And let's go ahead and see what we have. Oh, we got more things on the side. Okay, gotcha, it's one of those situations. So we also have a little, a uh, couple of stickers on the side. So they're gonna make us literally rip into this, which I'm not happy about. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, this might be easier to open from the other side. Let's try that from the bottom. Uh, I hate when they package things like this. You really have to, like, break the seal to get it open. Gonna have to peel it off. Old fashioned. Okay. The old fashioned way. Here we go. Okay. Let's get this off here. All right, here we go. Open it from the bottom. A <laughs> little word from the wise here. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's see what we got here. So opening from the bottom, you slide this thing out. It's got Evercade uh, little um, poster here. Uh, some more games you can purchase, which is awesome. Get more games. And here we have the system. And I cannot wait to take this out. Wow, this looks so good, guys. I love it. So we have this Super Pocket. And it's got a charger in there, it looks like. So, so excited to get this, guys. It looks great. I also ordered the regular standard red edition because I had to have both for the channel, right? So let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it works. We might need to charge it. Oh, here it goes. It's got a charge already. That's cool. So let's get this started up. We're going to kind of see what it looks like. And 
just now opening this. I'll do a full review on the channel soon. Um, so, awesome. So we're gonna hit English. We have easy mode. We have normal mode. Um, so we're gonna do easy mode. And you have to accept the license agreement. It's like you have to make you scroll through it. That's lovely. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Here we go. And let's turn that music down so I don't get a copyright infringement or something. <coughs> All right. So it looks like here are the games here. You can scroll through them. This thing looks awesome. I cannot wait to play with this, guys. So far, the build quality is pretty solid. We got buttons on the back. We have a speaker on the back. It looks like maybe the front. Uh, so I am stoked about this officially licensed Atari edition. So I'm interested to know if any of you out there got this too. This is amazing. I cannot wait to play these games on here. A nice, huge variety of Atari games. I love the F5200 on here. So I also got this here. Um, we got a little case here. This came with, which is my first Hyper Megatech case. I didn't get the other two that were available for my other, um, Super Pockets. But really cool to have this. So let me know, guys, what you think about this. I, like I said, I'm stoked about this. Sorry. Stuff in my way. Um, I'm stoked about this. Let me know what you think. I'm a huge Atari fan, and I'm so glad I got this. Have you played Atari today? Awesome, guys. Let me know what you think about this. I freaking cannot wait to play with the Super Pocket. It looks amazing. Um, just turned it on actually. So my first impressions are it's got great build quality. The screen's great. The sound seems great. So I cannot wait to play it. Uh, so more in my in-depth review coming soon on the channel. Uh, also let me know what you think about all the other stuff I got. I mean, I'm wearing the hat right now. Uh, I love it. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, wish you guys a happy Halloween. Uh, let me know what you think about this merch down below. Everything from the supercharger game to, uh, all the other stuff. Yars Rising. Thank you so much, Atari X, for allowing me to win that on Twitter. I freaking love it. And everything else. The Super Pocket, everything. So let me know down below what you think, if you have this, and what you think about these items that are coming out. I'd love to hear it. Uh, so also, just to let you know, uh, coming up on that Atari show for Halloween, I've got a cool episode coming up uh, full of ghoulish fun and Atari fun and news. So I cannot wait to see you there, guys. So tune in for that next Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Can't wait to see you there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Atari Newsline. Uh, be a good person. Get your Java and go play some freaking Atari. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.
You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy.